Donna here from the Everything Saxophone Podcast. We're live at the NAMM Show 2023, and we are sponsored by Rovna Products, but I am at the Trevor James booth. Trevor James saxophones and flutes are right over there, but we're going to be dealing with the saxophones because I have been playing a Trevor James saxophone for a number of years now. I love my horn. Okay, and I'm here with Sandro Masulo. Welcome to the podcast. We had him on the podcast um, at NAM. Oh my gosh, I think it was either 2018 or 2019. Pre pandemic for sure. <laughs> I know. Everything's almost defined by the pandemic now. Yeah, I know, for sure. Let me have you just get that higher up. All right, yeah, cool. for Great. sure. So, so glad to see you here. You've got the horns here and everything. Um, can you talk a little bit for those people that are not aware of Trevor James Horns, how it started, all that kind of thing? We're really happy with the Lions going. We've got several different finishes in both the alto and the tenor. And it seems like everybody tends to gravitate to, uh, to a different finish. Like we have, for those of you that don't know, we have two that are unlacquered. The Rob, which is probably the uh, uh, flagship horn that we started with. And then we took one and, and completely hand polished it to a high lesser, which is our uh, raw excess. And then we, of course, have the lacquer. And then we have a phosphor bronze that a lot of people forget about. And that one there is uh, is a, kind of a unique sounding. It's, it's, got, it's a very rich sounding uh, saxophone. Um, a lot of chords are the sound. And uh, everybody sounds a little bit different on that one. We have a, both an alto and the tenor here at the show. So if you're around, uh, uh, please give them a shot and um, see what you think. But. Overall, we're really happy where the horns have come. We've tweaked them along over the years and have some surprises for uh, for January and uh, hopefully uh, some new things to come. But yeah, I I play the raw. I play the uh, the custom signature raw. I really love the sound. And I was playing a Mark VI tenor for oh my gosh, by that point at least 20 years, and I was a snob. <laughs> <laughs> I was a Selmer Mark VI snob. And then someone, I was walking down the halls of Nam, and someone said to me, Donna, have you tried out the Trevor James horns? And I said, no, they make flutes. And they're like, no, they make saxophones. And so as I'm going over there, like the, the night before, I should say, I was, at, I was participating in the Nam Jam, and Brian Miller, who was with Jody Jazz, plays a Trevor James horn, and he sounds ridiculous. I mean, he was insanely good. So. I remembered that. I went to the booth. Adrian Crutchfield was trying out a horn. I was trying out a horn. A bunch of other people were trying out the horns, and it just felt good. You know, it, it reminded me of my Mark VI. It felt really good, and but it's more powerful. I feel like I get a much more powerful sound from from the Trevor James than I do from the Mark VI. And I was I was sold. You know, I I couldn't believe it. I was sold. It was so incredible, and the intonation is just obviously so much better too. Yeah, we find a lot of people comment on that. I mean, I mean big sounding for sure, uh, right right uh, from the bottom. But uh, the one thing that's unique about our horns, I find, is that they don't thin out. You can go right up uh, high, and they're still full sounding, even up in the third octave. The palm keys are open and very even, like as you had mentioned, Donna. So that's uh, we're getting a lot of feedback about that. Yeah, and a lot of great players are playing them too. So where can people find your horns? So more and more dealers are coming on. Uh, obviously, uh, we're based out of Canada, but we have several dealers throughout the states now. Here in California, we have a couple dealers. Dealer in New York, uh, dealer just outside of Chicago, and we're talking more people at the show all the time. So we're, we're bringing more and more dealers. and um, So they are available in the U.S. for sure. And I know for me, um, I'm in California, so Long Beach Woodwinds is now a new dealer, Long Beach Woodwinds. That's right. It's a That's great place. Right. They have lots of great stuff there. And um, I was talking to them less than a month ago, and they're like, yeah, they keep selling out. Yeah, yeah they do. They do. Thankfully, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. But uh, <laughs> they should be stocked up at the end of the show. I mean, that's that's the plan. Awesome. That's great. Well, listen, Sandra, it was so great catching up with you. Thanks so much for your time. Donna, always great chatting. Cool. Yeah. Have a great show.